This is a short demo to show that creating a flexbox layout is not as difficult as you may think. The classic equal height three column layout with a full width header and footer has long been considered the holy grail of CSS layouts. Until now one has had to use background images just to simulate the appearance of such a layout. Otherwise the columns are of unequal height. Now that a high percentage of browsers and devices support Flexbox, Flexbox can now be used to create such layouts. Flexbox is no longer hidden behind the browser setting. This means that using the old and new syntax combined, all modern browsers and all Android and iOS devices will render the Flexbox code. I will only be inserting the CSS required for Opera and Chrome in this demo. I have included the CSS required for all browsers and devices in the final page for you. We have also included a brief explanation of how to use a media query and the at support rules to target specific browsers and devices. This is in the documentation explaining the CSS. I will start by inserting the Flexbox CSS, then previewing the layout in Opera. At the end of the video, I will suggest a number of minor changes to the CSS that you may like to try. First, we have to tell the browser that we are creating a Flexbox layout and how we would like the layout to be displayed. The display property says that this is a flexbox layout and the flex flow says how the layout should behave. Here we are saying we wish the layout to be displayed as a row and that any child elements should wrap to additional rows if required. This display property says that this is an inline flexbox and that we want the display to be the full width of the browser. The flex spaces says that we would like the width of the two sidebars to be 180 pixels wide. Notice that I said would like. This is because the flex spaces property only says that this is our preferred size. Here I am saying that I would like the content area to be 50% of the available space. The flex property is probably the most interesting as it combines three separate properties into a shorthand form. These properties are flex grow, flex shrink and the flex basis property which I have already shown. Flex Grow property says how much of that element is allowed to grow in relation to other child elements. The higher the number, the more an element will expand proportionally. The Flex Shrink value says how much an element will shrink proportionally. The Flex Basis value says what our preferred size for the child element should be. This is the same as the header property, which says that we wish an inline flex box and that the display should be 100% the width of the browser. This is the preview in Opera. Notice the full length of the column. And the, the display flexes and grows in proportion 